Hey, my name's Justin. Um, I'm a tech and media pastor, and uh, I would give OBS Studio a uh, four rating um, for different things. Uh, but, you know, for more reviews like this, look, click down below. So before we looked into OBS Studio, we were running vMix, and uh, we had some different issues with it and cost issues, and uh, we switched from vMix to OBS Studio. So one of the great reasons why we like OBS Studio is, first of all, because of the cost. Uh, second of all, they keep it updated very well. Um, and thirdly, there's some features on there that you're not going to get with a lot of other uh, even paid uh, software programs. So uh, it does the job, gets it done, and it's freeware. So it's great. OBS Studio was... Uh, kind of easy once it got started. Um, it's pretty user friendly, but it was uh, a little bit difficult to get the right version to go on the website. Uh, you're not really sure where to get it at from a reputable source, um, but do your research and you should be fine with getting that going. So some of my recommendations for getting OBS Studio is to make sure you test it thoroughly, um, especially when there's different software updates and things like that. Make sure you do research on a lot of features. Uh, there's YouTube tutorials out there and uh, all kinds of people who will uh, help you if you just ask around in the different forums and in the OBS communities uh, posts, like on Reddit and things like that. So uh, I would definitely suggest you doing that first and do your research before you download it.